There ain't nothing like a good ad campaign to really sell something. Campaigns such as the Hump Day commercials from Geico and the 1984 Apple commercials would stand the test of time as a testament. A reminder that a really good ad campaign could be as good as the product it promotes. However, like some demonic horseshoe, those same could be said with the more oddball campaigns. Enter Lily's Garden. Lily's Garden is a game made by Tactile Games, a Danish gaming company whose main export is Match 3 mobile games. Their catalog includes hits such as Cookie Cats, Be Brilliant, and Disco Ducks. Okay, okay, so all of those games are just copy pastes of the same formula. And Lily's Garden itself is a lackluster Match 3 game with limited customization abilities, but that's not why we're here. We're here because of the advertisements. Blast you! Now the advertising campaign is a bit weird. According to some reports, Tactile outsourced the ad campaign to an unknown team and basically gave them free reign to do whatever the fuck they want with the characters involved with the Lily's Garden. There was already a story in game written by Stella Sacco, but the story within the advertisements don't reflect that what actually goes on in game. According to Sacco herself, the story within the ads were, quote, fabricated for, I guess, virality, end quote, and were designed to hit the Facebook mom demographic, aka my own mother. Alright, so we got the how and the why out of the way. Let's finally take a look at the what. The story within the Lily's Garden ads are reminiscent of old school soap operas. Hell, one of the videos is basically a homage to the show Days of Our Lives. The main character of these stories is Lily, of course, who is, well, hopeless. She falls for douchebag Blaine and gets engaged with him, however she breaks up with him via faking a pregnancy to after finding him making out with her own mother. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil everything with these ads, but let me tell you, you got it all here. You got romance, you got cheating, you got fake pregnancy, you got real pregnancy, you got weird sexual positions, you got attempted murder, you got actual murder, you got eggplant comparisons, LGBT representation, Swedish penis pumps, Christmas blowjobs, etc. So now comes the question, did the ads work? Well, the game is sitting pretty on a 4.6 on the Android App Store, and it does have 10 fucking million downloads to it. So yeah, I'd say the ads were pretty successful. As for the ads themselves, they are uploaded almost weekly on the Lily Gardens ads YouTube channel, so be sure to binge yourself on some weird but satisfying videos. Now, excuse me, I have to go plant some eggplants if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's a dick joke!